Hey, nursing students, welcome back. In our previous videos, we explored prefixes and suffixes in medical terminology. Today, we're diving into the heart of medical terms for root words. So let's start off by asking the simple question, what the heck is a root word? Well, a root word is the core component of a medical term, carrying its essential meaning. It forms the foundation upon which the prefix and the suffix are added to modify or provide additional information. So let's move on to some common root words and what they mean. Starting with cardi or cardio. It doesn't mean cardi B or car it means the heart. So an example is cardiology, the study of the heart. Next is derm or dermo. This means the skin. A great example is dermatology, the study of the skin. What do you think gastro means? Well, it means stomach. So what could gastritis mean? It means inflammation of the stomach. How about hemat or hemato? Well, this one means the blood. So what do you think hematology means? Well, that's right. It simply means the study of blood. How about osteo? Well, osteo means bone. So osteoporosis is a condition with porous bones where we have brittle bones with bone loss. Next is neur or neuro. This refers to the nerves. For example, neurology, the study of the nervous system. How about ren or reno? This refers to the kidneys. An example is renals related to the kidneys. Next is pulmon or pulmono referring to the lungs. So pulmonology is the study of the lungs. How about cyto or simply a site? This refers to the cell. So cytology is the study of the cells. And our last example is ophthem or ophthalmo, referring to the eyes. So for example, ophthalmology is the study of the eye. Some additional common root words include arthro, referring to the joints, carcino, referring to cancer, adeno, referring to the gland, angio, referring to vessels or even ducts, toxico, referring to poison, or even my egg, that's like. myco, which means fungus, and even radio, which means radiation. Okay, now that you know some root word examples, let's see these root words in action to reinforce your learning. First is dermatitis, the root word meaning the skin. The suffix is itis, meaning inflammation. So putting it together, dermatitis means inflammation of the skin. How about hematoma? The root word is hemat or hemato, referring to the blood. And the suffix is oma, meaning a tumor or a mass. So a hematoma is a localized collection of blood referring to a bruise, often resulting from an injury. This next one is osteoarthritis. What do you think that could mean? Well, the first root is osteo, referring to the bone. The second root is arthro, referring to the joint. And the suffix is itis, meaning inflammation. So osteoarthritis is a condition involving the inflammation of joints, and the degeneration of bone and cartilage. Now, very lastly is carcinogen. The root word carcin or carcino means cancer, and the suffix gen means producing or causing. So carcinogen is an agent or substance that causes cancer. Now you can see root words are the foundation of medical terminology, and mastering them is essential for understanding and communicating effectively in the healthcare field. All right, that's it for today's lesson on root words. Please stay tuned for more videos on medical terminology. Don't forget to click the link in the description below for way more helpful nursing content, including our beautiful colorful study guides that pair these long medical terms with a bunch of easy to remember memory tricks. Please make sure to comment below with any questions and thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video.